300 miles to save the NHS. So give her a warm welcome to Birmingham. just hear that in 2001 and 2005 polls showed that voters wouldn't trust the Tories with the NHS. The Tory slogan in 2010 was vote for change. It should have been spin to win. Just after he became leader of the Tory party, David Cameron spelled out his priorities in three letters. NHS. Let's face it, the Tories only clawed their way back out of the political wilderness because they claimed they could be trusted with the NHS. And as we know, to our cost, this was a barefaced lie. Andrew Lansley played God with the NHS and Jeremy Hunt became its grim reaper. a and have been closed all across the country in Bishop Auckland, Newark, Harleypool, Stafford, Bristol, Ilford, Hammersmith, Central Middlesex, Chase Farm, Worcester and Redditch. Almost a quarter of walking centres have closed. This year, 70% of contracts have been allocated to the private sector. That's £12.5 billion pounds worth of NHS services being put out to the private market. A billion pounds of NHS cancer services being put out to the private market just down the road in Stafford. And you know what? People might ask, what's wrong with private companies like Virgin delivering healthcare? Private sector competition, efficiency savings, modernisation. In short, jobs, job cuts and insecurity all round. Getting NHS services from Virgin Healthcare will be like getting a phone from Virgin Mobile. They'll make a profit from every little extra thing they can do. Will you need a bed set? How long will you need it for? Do you want meals with that? Have you got health insurance? Welcome to the NHS PLC and that's why we have to fight. The only reasons the Tories wanted to get rid of the NHS back in 2005 is the same reason they're getting rid of it now. Because they can afford private health care and screw everyone else. This is about cutting costs and frankly it's not good enough because they put patients' lives at risk. The coalition government never gave the NHS the fair funding settlement it was promised. That's why thousands of jobs have been lost in the NHS and across the public services since the general election. That's why ambulance trusts are closing stations with all the dangers that poses for re response times in the future. That's why more and more treatments and services are being rationed. That's why the NHS staff, including my union, the GMB, are balloting their members for strike action. Yeah. And you know what? NHS leaders are actually underspending in many cases, and the Treasury is clawing back the money that was supposed to be spent on our NHS. Working class people have lost under this government because of the government, just like they lost under past Tory government. If the unemployed get work, they get zero hour contracts. Opportunities in education have been slashed. Under the Tories, compulsory education to 18 doesn't mean giving opportunities to working class kids, it just means no unemployment benefits till they're 18. Working class people are dying under this government because of this government, just like they died under past Tory governments. People dying for lack of care, people dying, waiting 10 months for disability benefit. People dying because they're told they are fit for work when they are not. And you know what? Earlier this month, I walked in the footsteps of the hunger marches, 300 miles from Jarrow to London. With the People's March for the NHS, and I'm so proud coming to Birmingham 
today and looking around and I can see the marchers and they are here just like they were right across the country as we were marching. And you know, along the way, ordinary people came out of their houses to wish us well. They opened their houses, they fed us, they gave us their, their beds to sleep in. What we didn't find are selfish people who only care about themselves and their own families. We didn't find apathy, we found collective voices. We found people who want to save the NHS, that gives them free and equal health care to all, regardless of their ability to pay. Come May 2014, all of us up and down the country can stop them. We will stop them. We must stop them. So let's stand together. So let's stand together and serve their notice for destroying our NHS, for destroying our public services, for letting a generation of learners down, for slashing our employment rights, for using austerity to cut our pay. Britain needs a pay rise, but I tell you what, Britain needs to get rid of the Tories. Thank you.